the motivation is uh, something that is almost permanent in uh, in any uh, French uh, leader's head. In fact, um, let's say that before the the Beirut blast, uh, France was a little bit uh, frustrated and. Uh, and uh, kind of upset with the Lebanese uh, posture towards um, reforms, towards uh, progress uh, regarding the, the, the economic and financial situation, especially uh, with respect to implementing what was uh, agreed upon in the said uh, in the said envelope in the French, uh, let's say, led uh, uh, aid. Uh, venture. Uh, however, when the blast occurred, uh, there was a sense of uh, humanitarian urgency and a humanitarian need to help. Uh, so the visit was uh, kind of uh, a symbolic gesture of support, of uh, moral support, by saying to a friend that uh, their friend is still here. However, of course, this was also an occasion to try to open again a small, let's say, breach in the wall, in the Lebanese wall. However, I think that uh, some caution uh, was already in the mind of Emmanuel Macron when he came, uh, when he came back. So um, the visit, let's say, was uh, prompted by a pure uh, sympathy feeling and humanitarian urgency. However, it reopened up uh, a way or a small leeway, a very narrow leeway, uh, to launch again a political initiative that is today maybe starting to stall and to uh, to be stalemated. Yeah, as as I said, in fact, uh, when when uh, besides the humanitarian and uh, the issue of the blast itself. Uh, the proposal was to, uh, first of all, trigger a, a, a very urgent kind of uh, awareness in the political class about the necessity to really undergo uh, the structural reforms that have been stalling for the last three or four years since uh, France has proposed uh, the, the aid under the form of the said uh, agreement. So this was the first, uh, let's say, proposal or uh, call. Uh, the second one was a little bit uh, more ambiguous and uh, I think, and we should admit that it has created certain uh, un misunderstandings and certain ambiguities about the necessity of uh, forming a national unity government and then it was transformed into the formula of a uh, mission government that would uh, get political consensus around it and that would work uh, on priority on four points of priorities that has to do that have to do with reform and then he went a bit further by saying that if all this is done at one point uh, france would help the lebanese or or would stir the debate about uh, a new political path so these were the proposals that went beyond let's say the mere uh, economic and humanitarian aid uh, just to put uh, things in perspective, when uh, President Macron uh, came to Beirut, he said, in fact, three things, and they were a little, a little bit conflated in the head or in the minds of several Lebanese, uh, be them political leaders or, uh, or uh, normal people. Uh, first, he said that the humanitarian aid will, will be uh, unconditional, that this aid was uh, really in order to help Lebanon uh, stand back on its feet. Uh, the second uh, point was that France was very keen in knowing the truth uh, about what happened exactly on, on August 4th, the, the explosion. And this is where he uh, supported uh, maybe ambiguously the, the idea of, a, of an international inquiry, or at least he helped uh, to put some uh, French, uh, let's say, uh, technical aid in this uh, in the Lebanese inquiry or any other inquiry and the third point he made was exactly to uh, remind the Lebanese that uh, barring serious structural reform uh, from France or from any other party uh, substantial aid on the structural issues on the real macroeconomics uh, issues and this was uh, something he stuck to and then after that he probably went a little bit far by saying that he would support 
the crafting of a new political pact, a new uh, Lebanese government that was a little bit uh, also vague in his mind and that he would come back on September 1st in order to witness and to attest for the progresses. I wouldn't say that it has an Emirati backing, I mean, in Lebanon per se, or an Egyptian backing. I don't see any trace of that. Uh, globally in the Middle East, uh, for the last maybe three, four years, uh, France has been very much coordinating with, uh, with the Emirates, with the United Arab Emirates on several issues, mainly on Libya. This is the essential one. But if uh, France was coordinating uh, with the Emirates on Lebanon, you would have seen uh, a much uh, more vivid uh, financial and, uh, and uh, economic support for Lebanon in the last three years. Uh, however, the Emirates didn't do anything. When uh, the revolution started and the government uh, resigned, the Hariri government resigned, and uh, the government of Hassan Diab was formed, uh, there was a kind of difference, and this is no secret for anyone, there was a difference between uh, France's posture and the American posture on how to approach Lebanon uh, and how to maybe uh, on the American side or from the American point of view continue to um, smoothly strangle Lebanon, I would say, in order to pressure Hezbollah and etc. And the Emirates was much more, were much more on uh, the American side of, of, this, of this posture, while France was saying that Lebanon would deserve an aid uh, by itself. Now, of course, in the wider context of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Middle East, France is coordinating with the Emirates, but I don't see any any kind of special coordination over Lebanon. Regardless of what France will do or not, I think that Lebanon has entered in a period where uh, the grand game, as we call it, is uh, being played out again. Uh, around it. Uh, so uh, Lebanon is today again an arena where uh, all the regional and the international stakeholders are uh, playing again. They, have, they are showing interest again. Uh, some of them have been here for a long time, like of course Iran, uh, the Gulf with ups and downs, the Americans and the French. Now maybe the newcomers are countries like Russia, China, Turkey, and others. Now, uh, France is uh, always a traditional, let's say, external player in Lebanese politics. Of course, the way it will play within Lebanese politics or around Lebanese politics will be uh, uh, with, I mean, undoubtedly uh, shaped or influenced or uh, impact by uh, the games of others. Now, several analysts and observers are saying that the French, let's say, impetus towards Lebanon is now guided by uh, the necessity of curbing a new Turkish role in the north of Lebanon. I think this is a very marginal and minor factor because, uh, of course, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't, let's say, obliterate the fact that France is a structural player in Lebanon. And maybe Lebanon is uh, one of the last trends uh, in the Middle East where France uh, can, uh, let's say, uh, pretend for a substantial role. In the wider context of, of the Mediterranean and what's happening in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, of course, France uh, plays there as a European country. And you know that uh, with France under uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron, it has started already maybe before uh, with Sarkozy, but mainly with Emmanuel Macron. There is a pretension and an ambition to become the leading European player uh, in, in the area and, and uh, the, the Mediterranean is of course a primary theater where uh, Europe wants to project uh, influence uh, southward. So France is very keen in, in being present in this realm. Uh, second, uh, the Libyan affair has prompted France also to project much more uh, power uh, within or towards the Mediterranean. Libya is perceived as uh, 
let's say, a human security threat. It has to do with migration and, uh, and also energetic issues. Uh, of course, the rivalry with Turkey and uh, other nations in the, in the Levant or in the, in the eastern flank of the Mediterranean has added up to that. But I don't think that uh, France's Mediterranean outlook has to do exclusively with, with, with Turkey or primarily uh, with Turkey. So uh, France is a Mediterranean uh, power. This uh, factor was not very much shown until uh, recently, and I think that Emmanuel Macron is trying his hand at uh, regaining France's role in uh, this part of the world. Uh, Lebanon, of course, has a special place because Lebanon is both part of this uh, chessboard, but Lebanon is also uh, a place of its own whereby France has uh, specific interests and specific, let's say, sympathies.